So Sigfox is, is a, a low power wide area network we are deploying throughout the U.S. Uh, we actually are putting together a network that allows for communication of machines and uh, objects. Low data rates, long distances, long battery life. So Sigfox fits uh, at the very bottom end as far as uh, the connectivity and there's three or four different ways to, to describe that. Connectivity is regards to the, the amount of data that you're actually sending. So in Sigfox you're actually doing a 12 byte data packet, very low, low cost. The, uh, also the lowest cost as far as the hardware to enable a communication path. So you know you can get a module now for less than three dollars and, and away you go. Um, the third thing is the longest battery life with regards to a wide area network to communicate over that protocol. Yeah, so Sigfox in the U.S. market, uh, we're actually named Sigfox USA because we are the operator here. Um, we have 20, uh, covered 24 out of the 25 major air, uh, uh, metros throughout the U.S. Um, with outdoor coverage. So Sigfox, as we talked about, has a macro network that we're deploying. Connectivity as a service, as we say, um, brings the Sigfox connectivity to you. Um, and you can enable that for a particular solution. Sigfox uh, provides the actual base station. Um, you would receive the base station and the equipment to install, it includes an antenna. Um, you would actually provide the backhaul as primary, um, and you would, uh, we actually provide a secondary backhaul, and it can be in three different ways, ethernet, uh, cellular, or uh, satellite. Um, and really what we do is we provide a, uh, a guide and instructions on how to install it. It's very easy. It's the power of a light bulb uh, and uh, takes about five minutes. I'm a sales guy. I can install this very easily. You plug it into the wall, you put it at the right height, and you can get anywhere from one to two miles in an urban environment to close to 25 miles in a rural environment. Use cases for CAS uh, are in areas that are particularly in rural or in remote areas as well as deep indoor coverage. So in reality, uh, so that, that covers very large number of devices in very remote areas. Um, and for example, uh, pressure monitoring, gas flow uh, monitoring, and having some explosion proof solutions out in a remote area where you can bring connectivity to connect these devices uh, are, are, are very beneficial. Another example would be uh, agriculture. So agriculture, uh, again, it's in areas that are very uh, remote that may not have the Sigfox uh, connectivity in the macro network. So CAS is, uh, enables, for example, um, this is a uh, soil moisture uh, sensor, very ruggedized. You can put that in a field and a very long range, be able to collect soil moisture and uh, volumetric content. Another uh, aspect of agriculture, again, in a rural area, it has to do with uh, temperature and collecting temperature and humidity and environmental data. Um, again, by providing CAS, you have a solution that provides you with that data that you normally could not get before. We also talked about CAS that would benefit indoor or, or uh, deeper penetration, uh, either in areas that cannot re usually receive connectivity. You can augment that network with the base station that is for CAS. And one example is um, a trash can monitoring or fill level of trash can monitor. Typically, they're in a metal container uh, in an internal antenna. It's very difficult to pull that data out. So you can augment the coverage with CAS. Um, another example for indoor is a panic button. Panic button needs to have guaranteed delivery of service for those particular devices um, and being able to augment that indoor coverage with CAS uh, allows you to have a better service. Right, so Sigfox uh, provides CAS uh, for $7.99 per year. Uh, to actually lease that actual base station. Uh, if you want to do a short-term CAS, it's $3.99 for three months. Um, and you can go to www.sigfoxcas, that's C-A-A-S dot U-S. 
If I had to describe IoT World 2018, it would be partnering, ecosystem, and connectivity.